Have you ever bought a certified refurbished laptop? Today, I'm going to unbox the Microsoft Surface Laptop 1 in 2020 that I purchased as a certified refurbished to help people who might not have ever gotten a certified refurbished product before. Let's open it up and take a look at what we get. First, I'll have you all see that it's packaged really, really well inside this box. We can see that it is a plastic coating that the uh, Surface box is very, very well kept in here. Uh, so we know that it was shipped well. Taking it out of the box, it's in a plastic covering here. You guys can see that I got the cobalt blue color for my Surface laptop. And you can see that it comes in a box that doesn't look terribly different from the one that it normally ships in. This one, as you can see, says that it is a certified, let's get that in focus, certified refurbished product. This particular model that I have is the one that has the Intel Core i7. And because this is a seventh generation processor, it is a dual core. Now you also can see that it has got the Windows 10 S operating system. Upgrading it to Windows 10 Home will be a free upgrade. So you may be wondering why in 2020 I would get a certified refurbished uh, dual core processor laptop. And the reason is because I just wanna use this laptop for very basic things like word processing, and surfing the web and checking email. I certainly don't plan on doing any gaming or any uh, video editing on this particular laptop as I already have a computer that I can do that with. This is just supposed to be a very lightweight, uh, nice design uh, laptop for me to just uh, use. And I think that this dual core will do the trick. Uh, now, we gotta understand what this thing can and cannot do. So uh, being that it is a dual core, uh, and it's a seventh generation processor. It won't be as fast as the other ones. It also has a slower write speed on the SSD. So installing apps on this machine will be slower than it would be on other uh, Ultrabook laptops, but I know what that is. So let's talk about price. Um, the unit, if I were to go with an i5 version, would be somewhere around $600. Um, and because this is the i7 version with 512 gigs, I got this for around $800. If we were to compare that to the regular price of a Surface Laptop 3 nowadays, like a newer one, uh, which you would pay somewhere around $1,300 for a Core i5 version and maybe around $1,600 uh, or $1,700 for a i7 version, I think that we've saved a considerable amount of money. And let's go ahead and open this box now and see what the difference is and what it looks like. Opening the box, we can see that we're greeted with the laptop very carefully packaged in its plastic wrap. You'll also see that if, you were, if you've ever gotten a new Surface product before, uh, this is the exact same plastic wrap and the case and box inside looks identical to a new product, which means that uh, it looks like everything here should be in pretty good condition, uh, but we will uh, not worry about any of the manuals here. Let's take a look first at the charger. Taking a look at the charger as it's come out of the box, we can see definitely that there are some signs of use on this uh, unit. So we can see that there are uh, some very slight uh, markings on it, but not anything that I think uh, renders it uh, uh, not acceptable. I think that it's perfectly acceptable as long as it works fine and it looks like the other components here, at least the connectors, uh, look like they are in perfectly good condition. Now let's take off the plastic wrap of the actual device. Okay, so I'm very happy to tell you that the exterior of the Surface Laptop 1 here 
looks in absolutely flawless condition with not a single scratch or blemish on it. For this unit, we've got a USB-A port as well as a display port and a headphone jack here, as well as the Surface Connect port on the right side of the device. There is no USB Type-C on Surface Laptop 1. And now for the moment that we're all waiting for, to see what the condition of the Alcantara keyboard cover is like which is usually if there's any issues with the laptop, as far as cleanliness, that's where we would see it. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've got the one finger open and voila. As we can see the Alcantara cover on the certified refurbished Surface Laptop 1 is in flawless condition. Uh, there is no noticeable blemishing, no stains or any kind of dirtiness or grime that can be noticed here. It looks like this keyboard and the Alcantara fabric are in excellent condition. It actually shows up fairly dark uh, compared to what I've remembered before, which typically means that maybe this unit just is using the newer Alcantara fabric, which the Surface Laptop 3 it has a very dark tone-on-tone uh, -tone finish, whereas the Surface Laptop 1, when it was first introduced, the Alcantara cover was much lighter in color at the time. This seems to be a very dark color, but it seems to be in good condition and it looks clean. During the whole uh, coronavirus issue, we're all social distancing from each other right now, which makes it really important to have a computer with a great webcam so that we can keep in touch with each other via Zoom and via Skype. And one of the major, major selling points of the Microsoft Surface Laptop series and the Surface lineup in general is the high quality webcam that these come with. Unlike a lot of the other manufacturers like Dell um, that are typically considered the alternative to a device like this, those webcams are such poor quality um, I, that that this this Surface laptop, for someone who is going to be making a frequent use of video calling, will get a much better experience uh, with this computer, which is one of the reasons why I got this one rather than the Dell. In addition to that, uh, Surface computers and devices in general are very minimal on bloatware and the excessive apps and updaters that typically need to be installed. So uh, people with other devices might have to have a updater software from that manufacturer uh, or might have to get drivers from that manufacturer from time to time. Whereas the Surface Laptop is running a very pure version of Windows 10. And uh, once I get it upgraded to Windows 10 Home at no cost, uh, will not have very much other than what I want running on it, which is always a plus. So here we have the Microsoft Surface Laptop 1 in the year 2020. And I've got it set up and uh, downloading updates. The screen is in excellent condition. The touch screen works excellent, not a blemish on it. Uh, I think that for a lot of people, Getting certified refurbished products is a great deal, especially when you get them from Microsoft, because these Surface devices, as Microsoft refurbishes them, are absolutely indistinguishable from a new product. I cannot tell the difference between this and a new Surface laptop. So I can uh, tell you conclusively that I'm very happy with my purchase that I've saved a considerable amount of money. And for my use case, uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop 1 in 2020, especially that I got the i7 version with the Iris Plus graphics, uh, is going to do me just fine uh, for the light use that I expect to get out of this laptop. And I'm quite happy with it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.